guys welcome back to the channel for another vlog I'm Liz Charlton for some of you who might not know who's new here welcome so today we're starting the vlog we're starting the vlog a little bit different I am out and about in London town and it's nice and sunny so why not so today I have a few things that I want to do first on the list I'm actually early for my appointment I'm meant to be getting some piercings done today and I'm actually going the opposite direction because I'm just gonna walk and see around the area a little bit before we go back that way to do the appointment also just a little warning this is a bit of a warning but because I'm starting the vlog on the road today the vlog is going to be a little bit noisy because I am out and about and when I have the proper equipment for the microphone and all of that to stop certain noise yet so we just have to go on with this don't it? so I'm in the Hackney area let's go around a little corner here I'm in the Hackney area yeah yes it's a little bit quiet to talk to now and I'm just gonna get my ears pierced today and I'll probably like call my friend and we go for like some drinks and stuff late in the evening I also want to go thrift thrift I also want to go to the thrift store so of course I'm gonna take you guys with me and I'm gonna put you down um, hopefully there are no thieves in this area I mean it's quite like if you're like a creative person you love this area because it's literally I don't know it's a nice area I'm gonna show you guys my outfit where can I put you let's put you down here and then I'm gonna go out and show you my outfit <laughs> okay that's not gonna work because it's too low um, let me see if I can put you guys here without you falling okay so my outfit I'm wearing this sunglasses something really basic today because the time is quite hot and I don't have any makeup on as well and I just have on this dress from Zara so flat sandals and then my bag and then I just put on like loads of jewelry and stuff so this morning I went to the park I didn't really show you guys because I want to switch up the vlog a little bit. So I went to the park this morning and I um, just chill for a little bit and then I actually went to get my nails done which I do not like. They proper fuck up your girl like messed up your girl. I do not like my nails. So when I go home, the plan is to just drill these nail this color off. The shape when she did it was nice, but then she polished it and it was like, sis, what is this? Why are they so thick? Let me see if I can show you. Like, I just don't like them. So what I'm going to do is just take them off when I'm home and kind of like polish them myself. So yeah, I'm out and about today. So make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy videos like this. Because you're gonna try with it a little bit more often because the time is nice and warm now, so that's no problem. But, anyways, let's go and see if I can actually go in and get my appointment done a little bit early. It's actually 2 30 and it's like 1 57, so I'm quite early if you ask me. So, um, yeah, well, let me just see if I can walk around here and see what this area is about. <laughs> We're exploring today guys we are exploring today oh, I didn't show you my glasses on this is what they look like on it's really nice love them simple black cute yeah oh there's not much around here just some flats just houses nothing not much I go on and this is the tunnel that I was in just now you can probably get like a really cute photo here but I don't have any tripod to take my photo you know the one for the phone I don't have anything to say yet so I'm gonna just try and take the thumbnail and call it <laughs> at the shop I've actually been here before middle of the night always hit my line you don't even try tell him hit me up when he want to find out take me out to dinner get the nice bottle wine after we can hit the strip on up his credit line get the new fanny I've been I yeah yeah only go first class when I fly. So I've got that little that little one because your rook's a nice size. Yeah. Putting it on. Okay. And then the camera is maybe. Should I put it here? Maybe here. Yeah. Oh, so do you think you're, you're okay with the shot? Because you'll be in shot, and then I you're doing one on each side, one right? One on each side. Yeah. So I'm here. 
and then I'm here. So yeah. Here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that's my. Take a seat, and then if you want me to just shuffle it when you're in shot, so you're happy with where you're sitting. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want me to move over a little bit? Maybe a little, little bit. Tell me when. Yeah. Yeah. That's that okay. Good. Yeah. Thank you. That's okay. So what I put in initially, because mm -hmm. it's your loads, you're only going to wear them six weeks and you can yeah. start changing them around. Okay. This is just, the back is flat, doesn't come off, so it's, it doesn't irritate the back part of your ear. Oh, right. And the little ball on the front unscrews. Okay. Keep them for six weeks. Yeah. Change the ball you it. like in. Put whatever you like in. Okay. You want to stack with the hoops going up. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, we don't place with hoops initially just because they tend to move in and out and move in and out and then they oh, cause right. a little lumps on the front of them yeah. so it's literally quicker mm. do it with the stud for six weeks keep and cleaning then, it and then and then you can yeah. change it because i was thinking to do like just two mm -hmm. as in two here two there but because i only booked for like double yeah i don't yeah. know if i can change um it's, it's a little tight? bit tricky because we're really tight mm. today this That's is any problem just come back. yeah yeah we yeah. just do the two and yeah. then we can, once those are healed you can swap them out and we can yeah, yeah. okay okay Okay, so I do some dots first mm -hmm. to check that the placement's okay. If you want to move it, we'll just move them around. So this will be a little bit cold in the area, okay? Do you want to take your mask off now? Yeah. Okay. Those ones pull on the rear a little bit, so. <laughs> I might actually change this before I pierce as well, so it's out of the way. Okay. So that one has actually been in there from its pierce. Yeah, I can see it looks like the new one. Yeah. <laughs> it's really healed now, isn't it? So. Is a tiny bit closer than this one. Yeah, is. this one is very close. Yeah, I've got this one. I don't think I did it properly because of how close it is. I think it's um, that one that's closer than this one. Oh, is yeah. it? Mm, I think maybe like at a decent. Yeah, because you've got that nice little dimple, like natural yeah. little. Um, I don't know what they did with these. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You put it and then I'll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys see tattoos here as well. We do. Yeah. The tattoos. Busy at the moment. Saturday. Always Saturday. This is so busy. Mm -hmm. I want to get something done, but I just don't know what to put there. Oh, I've what? been wanting to get something done for a while. Is that a, is that a cover up? Like to cover oh, this up? But I just okay. don't know what to cover it with. Mm. She's really good. Mm -hmm. She she can design something for you. Actually. Yeah. Let me grab um. Well, we do the piercing, and then I'll grab Holly because she's got done a really lovely flower piece, yeah. and, and that might, with the shape of your collarbone and your shoulder, yeah, it, it might be nice to have something that kind of curves. Yeah. You see, <laughs> have, have a look at those marks. You'll see little white dots on your ears. Okay, so you put this one right in the um, the little dimple. Yeah. So if I'm doing the other, when I'm doing the other one, it will be like here. Yeah. I mean, we okay. use needles, so there won't be any problem doing it. Okay. And they're a little bit longer, obviously, because it's going to swell a little bit, especially because it's hot at the moment. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, so six weeks, I can just six, six. take them out. Yep, you put with your leg in. Try and keep, like, something in it for the first year, like, all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. they tend to, like take a little bit longer to become a like, proper permanent. Like, you know your other ones, you can just leave them out That's and they won't go anywhere. Yeah. But like, yeah, these ones take a tiny bit longer. Okay, so what I get you to do is when I say breathe in, you take a nice deep breath in through your nose. When I say breathe out, long breath out through your mouth. Okay? okay? You got this, it's gonna be fine. Just a nice little earlobe, oh. nice and easy. You feel me holding on? Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath in. Long breath. There we go. <laughs> Just a little 
Feeling okay for the next one? Yeah, I don't, I don't think anything to be fair. Does that little oh, I just, I just double check with people this time of year because sometimes <laughs> it's really hot and then you're like, just, just a second. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe because it's this part of the year, it's so mm. quite easy. Oh yeah, and loads are so soft. It's mm -hmm. not, doesn't, it's not like going through anything thicker. Can we hold it on again? Take that nasty breath in and roll out. There we go. Well done. Tiny bit of pressure now, okay, ready? There we go. They're a little bit longer, you notice, mm -hmm. so you can get around to cleaning them properly. Okay. Um, I've seen this before, but just saline, so it's like salt water, saline, okay. yeah. morning and evening, mm -hmm. um, for at least the next six to eight weeks. Six to eight weeks, you can start changing them, mm -hmm. but they're going to take a year to become permanent. So always keep something, keep something in them there. for a year. Okay. Um, just, you clean the skin, you know the little crusties that you get, yeah, yeah. wipe them all off and then just a little dry afterwards. Okay. Um, just be careful with like hair products, shampoo, just make sure nothing kind of builds up around mm -hmm. it and clogs. Okay. Um, and pillowcases, you can change, change your pillowcases regularly. This time of year try to stay hydrated because the more dehydrated you get the more the piercings will swell. Oh really? Especially the new ones. Yeah, it's a really bad time wow. of year for piercing because everyone... The more dehydrated you get, the more your uh, mm -hmm. body inflames, and with new piercings, that can be even more than kind of usual. Mm -hmm. So I didn't know that. Yeah. I have to drink up my water then. <laughs> this for this one. Mm -hmm. Is there any more airing that can go there? Yeah. Let me see what we've got. Then. Well, I mean, we could do like a smooth ring. Do you want to stay with a hoop, or you want to? Because mm -hmm. other stuff wise, it'll be like the same thing that you've got with oh, a little, or right. with a gem. Because I don't think there's a lot of ball like Yeah. Going on. Well, I could put a flat stone in. That would be like a little sparkle. I mean, mm. can I come and see? Um, piercing is done. I have a little, lot of balls going on here, so I was trying to see if I could change this area, but not now. And I couldn't get the other one done because they're a bit tight on time at the moment. So I just got like two. So another one here, and then the other one. I'm gonna come in next six weeks or so, and let's get this one done. So yeah, speed income is fine. <laughs> really quick that is done so now i'm going to see if i can find like a thrift store somewhere in brooklyn or something ah this flies let me see where i am at actually oh it's actually one mile for where i want to go so i can actually walk there oh ooh, 25 minutes walk no way <laughs> 25 minute walk um What's the name of that shop again where I look for? I need to get to Bethanel Green. Okay, so I'm gonna take back the train to one stop. You can walk 20 minutes, but. Yeah, I can walk 20 minutes, but I'm wearing sandals. I'm not gonna walk. So I'm gonna take the train one stop to. Um, Bethanol and the train is coming in four minutes so I need to hurry up and just run to the train station ouch I'm gonna need my mask I just have like a really sharp pain and I'm excited a while ago yeah so I get to spoke I didn't um, tell you guys but I read I get to um ask the girl about the tattoo and she showed me like this really nice tattoo to like do my cover up here so it's really nice that I didn't tap in where do I tap in oh for fuck's sake I need to tap in because they're gonna charge me. Oh gosh, I didn't tap in. Can't remember tapping in. It's hidden in the corner there, and the train soon come. If you don't tap in, they might go charge you, like overcharge ten pound or something. So you need to make sure you tap in, like touch in and out. Okay, we're back. We're coming here, pull up. So I was saying, the girl, she said she can draw, design me a tattoo and put on my cover up here. Why? So I should just message her on Instagram today, which I am going to do. You can't ask me twice. And then she will tell me what, um, so I can see how the design looks and then, oh Jesus. Yeah. <sighs> 
yeah so i can see how the design looks and then she'll tell me like price and so but i reckon it's gonna charge cost me a good 300 and something pound which is probably the budget 250 300 um to get this cover up and then you know when you get like tattoos at the shop then you can get like other little one as well the trainer come so it's the train I'm gonna take today just one stop me I'm gonna say to be take to take me around like two two minutes or so yes I was saying once you get tattoos at the shop then you can always get smaller ones it shouldn't be any problem because of the same thing can be though so yeah I need to put some lip gloss on. I honestly don't know where I'm going, but I'm walking based on the Google. I have like a good say seven, eight minutes walk, so that's not bad. But the time is literally boiling, but I'm not mad at it. Maybe bring one little juice and I'm about to. I just had that. I just wish I wish I brought some water, but I think I'm gonna just buy some water. And I'm due to have lunch as well, so I need to find a spot to have some lunch. So I'm gonna fall on my own. <laughs> but I'll find out. I'm really feeling pizza. So if I can find out one of those cafes or something that does pizza, then we can sit down and have a nice oven baked pizza or something from one of those shops. But I'm so happy as well that I didn't put makeup on because. Yeah, it's too hot for that. I'll be looking like a sweat bomb. My pores would all cry. Like it wouldn't. Must, must, just know that my skin wouldn't be happy. Cause now it's not happy with me. Cause me I go back and work. I mean, wear makeup every single day now. This is so nice. Look at this. How nice is this little um, flower thingy right here? So so nice. Um, okay, Google Maps. Let me see if I got the right place. He's saying the place is three minutes, but it's literally, I don't know this area. It looks so different. I'm trying to get to Shoreditch where everything is. So I can, um, so I can pretty much do everything in the area. But I don't know. Three minutes. This area is not familiar at all. Like it's definitely not familiar, but I think I'm just gonna walk, 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 walk until I find somewhere. As long as I keep my battery, I'm gonna make the battery day, I can always know which path I go for reach home via Google Maps. But for now, I literally don't know where I am. So strange. Huh. Anyways. So just got out of the one of the vintage shop. It's not the one that I've been to for sure. Um, there wasn't much stuff in there and they were playing some music. So you guys couldn't hear me anyway if I even vlog in there. So I didn't even bother to. Now I'm just walking. They didn't even have any good denim shots in there. I'm just walking to find that street that the other shops are on but things definitely look a bit weird on the street like I don't remember this street at all <laughs> but anyways I'm gonna see if I can find that other shop and then I'm just gonna get some lunch because it's after three now so I need to get something to eat works going on around here like when is London not doing some form of road works <laughs> literally any area you're going to just know that some form of road works is happening in one of the areas this tree is so dead am i in shortage or no because this is not giving me it's not it's not giving me shortage vibe another vintage I didn't this is another vintage shop oh vintage eyewear and sunglasses 
Should be going here. Let's go in here. Here's the entrance. Do I want to go in there? Oh, uh, I don't know where the entrance is. I didn't go in there. Too much people, I guess. Mm, this is a tattoo shop. Them look empty. <laughs> Can you imagine if there's brown going around tattoo shop? I'm gonna know if the art is good or not. This looks like a cute little spot to have some some lunch. Um, what do they sell? I'm looking for a nice little spot like that to have some lunch. Well, let me just continue walk and then see what I can find. Yeah, I was saying, can you imagine me just going on a tattoo shop? I sit down and do tattoo. I'm gonna know if the art is good or what. I come back up with my tattoo. Them just effed up. When I'm mood, I have nobody to blame but myself. Vintage basement. We have two more vintage store here. I'm gonna just pop into them and see what's going on. So I saw these glasses in here. I don't need any more sunglasses. But how nice are these? They're just like basic black glasses, but I love how the way they look. And if you guys can tell. But the prices are not on them. I don't wanna go there and be like, how much are these? And you're like 200 pounds. I don't plan to spend that much money here. But I'm gonna hold on to these and see <laughs> and see what this is. How much for them? I have some other ones here as well. Oh, they have the turquoise one. This one is quite nice. But you know, you want to just stick to the black, blackity black. Also, these ones are quite like these ones are quite different. Ooh, let's try this one on. I like sunglasses where I can see my eyes. No, this is not me at all. This is not for me. I can see my eyes through them. I have one, but it's quite big. I need to get like a smaller one. Anyways, I'm gonna ask the price of this one. So I made my first purchase for today. <laughs> well, that would have for my piercings. Um, there are quite a few more vintage stores on this street actually. I think this is the street I've been on but because they're doing loads of road works, I'm not going to go into these ones um, because I'm going to really find like any clothing pieces. That's my vibe. I already have like sunglasses so I don't know why I'm going to come and buy more sunglasses again. <laughs> but um... I got these ones, they were only 15 pounds, so that's not bad. Okay, which street do you want with them? I'm gonna bring her. Okay, let me just wipe these off and then I'll show you guys. The street is definitely starting to feel like a bit more shortage now. So, this is my um, this is the sunglasses that I got. I don't know if you guys could see because I can't see. <laughs> It's so nice and it's such good quality. The ones that I was wearing before are from um, the ones that I was wearing before are from Stella McCartney, and this remind me so much of it because the quality is top two. And they were literally just fifteen pounds. I think I'm gonna be wearing these every day now because why not? Especially like to work and stuff. I can just have it and throw it down in my bag and not really care if it's gonna break or not because it's expensive. Because it's not. Just Where can I eat? Anyways, I just wanted to show you this. I'm gonna see if I can find like a spot to eat. I feel okay. I stopped into like uh, um, an art gallery. It was so cool. And the art pieces, like the details on this one that I saw, it was so so nice. I don't know what pair was doing in the artwork, but it was, it was cool. Anyways, I'm trying to find somewhere to eat. I saw like a pizza place, but it doesn't have like an um, outdoor terrace or whatever so I'm trying to find somewhere with outdoor where I can just sit outside instead of going inside I don't think that would be a vibe to so just sit outside and eat some lunch this is where I'm at at the moment in shortage they have some tent over there I'm guessing it's like a food market but I'm not looking for like food market vibe at the moment I just need like a look a restaurant, so I probably need to get out at a busy area. There's one over there. Yeah, 
Oh, it's box box spa. I guess I can get something in box spa. Yeah, maybe I can get some food in box spa so don't I eat and then chat to you guys. Literally, so much going on on this street. What's this? It's getting here now. <laughs> so much going on. My gosh. Um, I guess food is upstairs, but they need you to. They need you to register. Uh, I think I should turn back. Okay, let's see what's around that street. CBD. I'll come back and then. <laughs> you might wait for me. Oh, I don't need to buy anything else. Well. <laughs> How do I get some food? Food? Yeah. Okay, uh, entry is that way. Yeah. But it's tickets only today, yeah? Oh, Ask them. Right. Maybe they will let you in, yeah? Is it crowded up there? Uh, no, but it's tickets only. So So I have to get a ticket. So yeah. how? Boxpark.co.uk. And then get the ticket and, and then, then I'll be able to ticket. enter from yeah, down yeah. there. Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right, thank you. Okay. Me. That is a long farm to get a ticket to get some food. There will be a lot of cute guys going up there. Why? Maybe I should go to Box Park. <laughs> pizza, e pizza East. This looks like a nice pizza spot. Maybe I should try this. Maybe I should try Pizza East. But it's indoors, isn't it? Oh. Anyways, so the pizza place, not much now going on in there. Like it's just dead and boring, and that's not the vibe for today. Box park is too crowded. You have to get tickets for going in a box park, so that's not the vibe for today. So I'm gonna turn back. Um, kind of like turn back for myself to um, try and see if I can find somewhere down that side. To eat instead of like up this side because there's a lot of crowd up this side and yeah it's just, it's just a lot it's a lot going on you hear that plus them are going to football they might watch football up there so it's going to be too <laughs> yeah it's gonna be too much for me the street is quite nice there are restaurants down here how nice is this artwork? I'm sure it is. Maybe I should take a thumbnail or something. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay, I need to get out of the busy part of shortage. It's what me I said before, like, oh, it's so um, empty, like, where is the show this vibe of Sis never ready. <laughs> She's never ready. Let me see if I can take a quick photo or something. It is honestly such a lovely, lovely day out though, like, it's so nice. Yeah, honestly, it's such a lovely day out, just me, you know, walking around, have no plans, really. <laughs> and just enjoying the local London weather and, you know, bringing you guys with me and doing absolutely nothing <laughs> it's a vibe thing don't be scared to just go out and oh that's a bad photo that he's taking for her. so sick which okay, i must fix that ear and everything so sick get me someone who <laughs> yeah don't be scared to just go out and like enjoy wherever you live by yourself you don't need company um, me, I really enjoy my own company and I can do stuff by myself. That is like, I'll have so much fun. <laughs> That's so much fun. But yeah, I don't know which street I'm on. I'm just walking until I can find somewhere to eat. And I'm really looking cute. Like, look at that. Who's she? Until I can find somewhere to eat then, I'll stop and have some dinner, some lunch. I'm really wanting pizza. like. 
that oven bake pizza on a grill or whatever that's what I'm really craving for lunch so quick tip if you're if you're vlogging and you're scared just act like you're a tourist <laughs> I'm not scared I'm just saying you know I can't find anywhere to um let me turn this around I can't find anywhere to eat <laughs> I might need to come out for shortage if I need to find somewhere. I have a lot of one right here. Yep. That is what I want. Yes, I can't find anywhere to eat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue walk like down, down, and try and see if I can find this place. is really nice. I can see some tents, but they're all like. It's a cool place, but too much people. Come on. Wrong area, beautiful day. <laughs> Wrong area, beautiful day. This is a nice place too. <laughs> but I need somewhere suitable for Alona. Get me somewhere to do before alone and we can sit down in a piece. That's what I look for. But it's a lot of people out today. But it's expected because whenever London is quite hot, we just don't know how to act. And everyone is just always out and about for so you. Yeah. Came down this street, thought that um, I'll find something to eat, but it's just curry. I think it's most Indian restaurants that don't on the street here. You can hear the look of the volume I got down now because I'm hungry now. So the volume I got down. The energy they put on the E. So it's like off. So <laughs> if the next time when you see me at home, that means I may never get no food. <laughs> Be like, but the look of energy over there, that big one. I'm gonna put them really hurt me. So I'm really good at sit down. Get some food, but I'm on a street that sells so just Indian and I need pizza. Shop, but the music is so loud in here, but I just come to say I found one. <laughs> oh, it's on that same street that's where it's for, but oh gosh. Middle of the night, always hit my line. He don't even try. Tell him hit me up when he wanna find dine. Take me out to dinner, get the nice bottle of wine. After we can hit the strip on up his credit line. Get the new Fanny, I've been eye. Yeah, yeah. Only go first class when I'm fly. Yeah, cause I got expensive taste. And he ain't got the budget. Smarter than the other girl he fuck with. She just kinda suck it. Till he put his money where his mouth is. I don't wanna hear nothing. No, no. I don't wanna hear nothing. So I'm done eating at the pizza. It was so good. I'm at the bus stop now waiting for the bus to head to Liverpool Street. Um I might walk around Liverpool Street a bit or I might just go home. I'm a little bit sleepy. I could take one of them afternoon naps. But the lunch was like so so good. I, I don't know if it was because I was hungry and it's all on my lips. If it was because I was hungry or what, but it was so good. So full as well. I got like a, a, a bottle of Coke and um, I got like the margarita pizza. I didn't even take the name of the place. How bad of me. I also need to remember to um, message that tattoo lady on Instagram so she can get with, get on with my work really quick, like ASAP. Because um, hopefully we can get that tattoo done this summer. And of course, I'll try and take you guys with me. I can't believe I didn't take the name of that. Oh, this is my boss. So I am now in Liverpool Street, um, I should be going that way but we're going to go this way <laughs> um, just because but anyways I have absolutely no plans in Liverpool Street but I think I'm just going to, I always come to the station but never really get out the station to see like, what's around like that, um, it's not far, I mean they have some really nice outdoor restaurants there, that's really nice. Anyways, yeah, it's not far from where I was. So. I just come down and see. 
show you guys what I'm looking at this is what I'm looking at and over there is really it's quite nice actually I don't know if you guys could see but yeah like I said the station is the other way um, so I'm gonna just cross the road and turn back because my knee <laughs> my knee is literally hurting me now and I don't know why I think I've walked too much I was trying to see if I can find like a Zara in Liverpool Street but the closest one is not that close to where I am at the moment so I'm gonna call it yeah yeah it's like a really nice sit down area over this bit here which people are just looking at me and I'm like here don't care <laughs> don't care at all but anyways yeah it's a lot of white folks um, you see the black folks more, mainly down like in Brit Lane shortage but here is a lot of white folks <laughs> But here is nice to take like a really good picture actually, like really nice, like there, on the stairs. But yeah, Liverpool Street, so I'm gonna head to the station and um, yeah, do this. Oh, give me a sec. Down a bit on this stairs thingy. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, just to kind of like reply to her message and why it's here. Why is Siri um, listening to me? I don't know. <laughs> but she's right like a whole thing. But anyways, I just sat down here to reply to a message and then I'm just gonna get up to go back to my yard. Because I could really, I could really take like a little nap. So let me see my bearings and get it right. Ouch. Actually walking in the wrong direction. Um, for the station <laughs> I was walking in the wrong direction but um, yeah it's literally just there she's good we are in Liverpool Street so yeah station is right there where you see that glass thingy I'm going right down there it's quite crowded out here actually like very busy the street shortage Liverpool Street like Central London, this area, very busy. Put on my mouth. And this is Liverpool Street Station. It's always crowded. It's massive. It's not the biggest, but it's quite big. And if you come to this station and you can't see, then you it for your own. <laughs> or just ask somebody. Because this is so small and I can't see anything. So you have to use Google Maps to get your train or just ask someone. But yeah, this is Liverpool Street Station and it has like really good like connections and stuff. So you can get like outside of London or wherever you want to go. And it has like quite a few shops as well. Oh, actually, maybe we should go in the shopping mall. I've never been in there before. I'm gonna go in the shopping mall and um, show you guys like the kind of shops that were there in Liverpool Street, I guess. So yeah. But like I said, you can get trains to go anywhere from Liverpool Street. I think you can get Central Line, Hammersmith District, Overground. Uh, good connection. <laughs> so I'm going in the shopping mall now, which is like under here, and it has like quite a few bits. The good thing is, you might you might have vlog and you feel like the people look by you, like they might be looking, but nobody in here. <laughs> so vlog and get your content, sis. And this is quite like a big boots there as well. I don't think I need anything in boots, or do I? Hmm. Yes. I've never actually know like what kind of shops are up here. There's a boot. Let's go up from this side. And 
Um, probably not that much to be fair. It's a really nice thumbnail. Let's take it real quick. Yeah, I don't know, but, but I don't have any more weight in the left. Actually, it is not that much shop up here. I thought it was quite a fee, but it's not that much. Maybe them clothes, Space NK Lock. That's where you can get some makeup goodies from, like different brands. Um, you have Kiehl's. Ooh, okay, girl. All right, get the pick. All right, yeah, okay. And I literally had to stop just now and delete some footage because <laughs> this don't have any space. Um, I need to buy a hard drive because this is annoying and we don't want no bad, no bad vibes when we have, when we have film. Alright, no bad vibes. I just take some pictures for the girls up there and they came out so good. They look so good. I'm not going to lie, like proper glowing. And um, there's not much shopping stuff in here to be fair. I thought there was like a whole like selection of stuff or whatever. But it's not really, it's just boots and like some other makeup brands and that's that's just about it. It's just a big shopping centre like with nothing pretty much. Um, even down they say it's quite empty for the shops and stuff. I think most of them like closed during Covid because I never opened my back. A lot of shops shut down at the moment. For obvious reasons I guess, finances. So I'm just gonna hop on my train and try to get home after five now so once i am there i will check in with you guys i am back home i think i want to sit on the let me sit down right so so sleepy i need to just take my clothes on go like literally take a little nap yeah so i am back home Ooh, really nice look a day out i should do this a bit more often <laughs> And I'll definitely try and take you guys with me when I do stuff like this. Such a nice day out. Um, I'm still quite full. So I might have something quite light for dinner. Um, I'm going to take off the nail, these nails. The color. I'm going to remove them myself and polish them myself. Because I can't have this on any longer. Well, I'm not going to do it now, now. But eventually, I'm going to like... I'm gonna take them off today. Let me try and put you guys down here. I have some washing in the washer. I'm gonna put it back to dry and then kind of like hang them up and stuff. And kind of do the other load. I don't have much to wash this week, just like one other load, and then that's it. So that's good. So I can get to like relax and then I'll edit this vlog and another vlog that I have. With me like building furniture and stuff i'm gonna edit that one as well but it was really nice really nice day out you know some much needed alone time <laughs> i was on a boat in a london street just to see kind of what's there i didn't really get to go in as much of the thrift store that i wanted to only because i got so hungry and i wore sandals to do so much walking i don't know what i was thinking so my feet hurt a little bit so next time I'm going, I'm definitely going to wear trainers. And the dress is quite comfy, so it would never have to do nothing with the comfort of the clothes. Definitely wear trainers. Bring a bottle of water with me, even though I'm going to buy water on the street. And, um, yeah, just the sandals, it wasn't the best idea at all. But Shoreditch is such a vibe. Like, so much is going on in Shoreditch so much is going on but i think it would definitely be like so so good if you have like someone else to go with to like sit on and have drinks but otherwise you can just walk around by yourself and go like the thrift store and stuff which i need to go back into some of the thrift store because i only went into like maybe two three of them and this is where i got these glasses which i am obsessed with i love them they remind me of this other designer brand that i really can't remember right now but that's why i got them because and the quality is just so good like literally the same thing without the designer name let me show you the one that i have so this is the glasses i was wearing before these are um these are designers these are stella mccartney these are stella mccartney and this one is from the vintage store so this is vintage and the quality of them is it's pretty much the same 
quality glasses but without the designer name <laughs> this one says london design reflector ray as in r-a-y so yeah and then the name i come outside the polish tea yeah the name i rub off because i have the oil on it so the name in it rub off but anyways they're really nice glasses for 50 pounds so this is the only thing that must spend really for like clothes and stuff and then um yeah not clothes this sort of really only money i will actually I pierce my ears um for my piercing and to change my earring yeah so for my for my piercings and to change my earring plus i got this i didn't ask for it but she ended up bringing it um so okay let me just get it to clear, um, clean my ears i think this was like five pound it was 30 pound to pierce my ears two side it was 30 pound and then it was 15 pound to get this earring i mean i could get it on amazon but i was trying to find it and i couldn't and i think this one is gold plated maybe the other ones are gold plated as well but i think the 15 pound was fine because it's quite small and i really wanted something a little bit smaller than the other silver one that i had in so yeah let me take out this big one because it's quite a bit heavy on my ears yeah, so this is what we have a go on and I just want to pierce like another one like right here and I think I'll just leave it like that for now. Yeah, just another one like literally here and then we can just leave it. But I can do that in the next six weeks. I'll go back in the next six weeks or so but i also want them to do a tattoo for me the girl this is a really good spray it's like selling solution i want the girl in another shop to do like a little tattoo for me so i'm gonna message her on instagram actually and see if she can design something and then see how it looks and hopefully i like it and the prices you know make some sense and then we can just go back at the shop and get that done the outfit that I'm wearing, I'm not too sure if I tell you guys about my outfit. It's a dress from Zara. It's really perfect for the summertime because it's so airy even though it's black. It's so flowy as well. Breeze will through. Just be mindful that it's thin. You just need to wear proper underwear. I wore a black underwear so mine never had a show so that was good. But it's such a nice dress. Let me get up and show you. This is how it looks. And then it like button it down so it's so nice and I wore like a black sandals so if you guys have seen my Zara haul that's on my channel you guys would already know this dress so I just wear it very basic today with some sandals and stuff and yeah my battery is dying so I think I'm going to end today vlog today's vlog here I hope you guys did enjoy if you enjoy vlogs like this of me just going out and about in london showing you guys a little bit more than just what's inside leave a comment below give the video a thumbs up and we can do it a little bit more often thank you guys again for watching and ensure that you are subscribed to the channel and i'll catch you in the next one bye